Hello, hello, hello. How are you? This is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com, the website where we help people escape the loop of problem drinking. Over 200,000 people helped so far. Uh, Hopefully, you'll be the next, or maybe you already have been helped. Uh, Tell me where you are on the journey in the comments below. Um, If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notifications, and please like the video as well. Uh, gives us a big thumbs up to uh, YouTube when you do that. helps us out. Uh, so today I want to talk about alcohol and blood pressure. Uh, and there is a bit of confusion about this. People want to know, is alcohol good for your heart? Is alcohol good for blood pressure? Or is it the other way around? Because you probably have seen stories on social media that – you know, certain types of alcohol are good for you. You'll have seen stories perpetrated that gin helps you lose weight. Whiskey is good for this. Red wine is good for your heart and so on and so on. And so what's the truth and how come all this conflicting information is out there? And the answer to that last question is because of the marketing departments of alcohol producers. Look, The Super Bowls just happened in the States, and you will have seen adverts and commercials for alcohol producers, beer companies, wine companies, spirit companies. And they always look so fun and friendly and funny and entertaining. It's hard to think about the alcohol industry in the same way that you might think about a drug dealer or the cigarette industry, the tobacco industry. And let's not forget, you know, the tobacco industry knowingly lied to its customers, knowingly lied to everyone that you know it, it knew it was killing its customers, but denied it for decades. It knew without a shadow of a doubt that the product it was selling was giving its customers cancer. And it lied about it for decades. That's not just sociopathic. That's narcissistic. That's just pure evil. And the same is true of the alcohol companies. They know for certain that their product gives their customers cancers, cancer and destroys their life. And yet they can, they insist on persisting with this backdoor stealth marketing, these spurious medical reports that come out that state just nonsensical information. Gin's good for losing weight. Red wine's good for your heart. 100% pure grade bullshit. Now, you'll never see a alcohol company releasing these press releases because it would be too obvious. But if you dig down into the small print, you'll find a PR agency employed by an alcohol agency or something like that. It's not true. It's just narcissistic garbage to make people who drink their brand of poison feel better about drinking poison. So let's just look, let's just deal with this red wine story for a start. Red wine is not good for your heart. I don't care what survey or report you show me. The hard fact is there is no more benefit to red wine than there is to grape juice. So if you claim to be drinking red wine to boost your heart health, Why are you not drinking red grape juice? Why are you not liking and sharing comments on Facebooks about red grape juice? Because red grape juice does not facilitate or justify a common drug addiction. There's no benefit to drinking red wine, despite what you've heard. That is garbage, right? I think the biggest piece of research done on this recently, probably five years ago now, was done by Cambridge University. They studied 6,000 people, and they came to the conclusion that any benefit you get from the antioxidants in red wines is completely negated by the poisonous, toxic effect of the alcohol. So there is almost inarguable proof that there's no benefit to drinking red wine for your heart. It's non. emergency room, they don't put you on Merlot stat. In fact, at no point during your stay in hospital do they recommend having a glass of red wine. Why? Because it's bullshit. It's nonsense. So to the point, 
does red wine, does alcohol affect your blood pressure? Yes, it does. And it is negative. Uh, and I am testament to that myself. When I was a drinker, I was permanently in a state of borderline hypertension. Even as though I was in my 20s and 30s, 30s and, and you know, young, should have been healthy. Every time I changed doctor or went to see the nurse or something like that, they would take my blood pressure. And it was always the same. They'd always say, oh, oh, that's not right. I'd say uh, a bit high, is it? Yeah, you're borderline, you know, you're just on the verge of needing medication, but uh, maybe with some diet changes and lifestyle changes, we can bring that back down. Of course, I never implemented any of those changes. When I stopped drinking, I was shocked to discover, and this is not something that I even considered. After one month of sobriety, my blood pressure had not only reduced, it had come down to completely normal levels. So why does alcohol so negatively affect blood pressure? Well, there's a lot of things going on there. First of all, uh, alcohol has the effect of constricting your, uh, your arteries. So it's squeezing them tighter and putting them under pressure. And that's why you often see people who've been drinking for a long time, you can see it in their face. They will have um, kind of bulbous noses. If you know the kind of drinker's nose, big red lumps on their nose and stuff like that. This is from the, the capillaries and the, um, the vessels in, in the face being put under a lot of pressure and eventually just bursting. So the alcohol does a lot of damage to the, the walls of your arteries and constricts them and, and causes pressure problems like that. But also, let's not forget that when you drink alcohol, your body has to react to that. Otherwise, you would die. Your body has to jump in and save your life because you have just ingested poison. So your body, your central nervous system, goes into kind of panic mode. It's got to get this stuff out of your body as quickly as possible. And so it's beating your heart faster to pump this stuff around your system so it can get it filtered, can get it through your liver, can get it through your system to get it out as quickly as possible. Because alcohol as it's ingested, is fatally toxic. Unless your body jumped in at that point and acted on your better behalf, you would be dead. So what your body does is it, when it detects this poison in your system, your liver takes that poison and it converts it into another substance to save your life called acetaldehyde. Now, acetaldehyde is less fatal in the short term. And the key words there are short term. Because long term, acetaldehyde causes cancer. But your body is kind of making a in the moment decision. It's saying, okay, unless I do something, this person is going to die. My host is going to die because he's, he or she has just drank poison. What am I going to do? I can convert it into acetaldehyde, but that might give him or her cancer. But that will be about a few years down the road. Let's do that because... The pressing situation here is imminent death. That's basically what's going on. So your body saves your life, but you're going to pay the price for it later down the road. And generally, that is cancer and other horrific things. So if you have read any article recently that purports that alcohol is in any way beneficial to your health, ring some alarm bells. It's bullshit. It's been paid for by the alcohol industry. It is absolutely 100% garbage. We now know for sure some certain things. One, alcohol is a poison. It is a registered poison. No debate about that at all. If you buy it in its proof form, it will come with a skull and crossbones on the bottle and the same sort of warnings that you see on a bottle of bleach. Two, alcohol causes cancer. No debate about that. Absolutely proven beyond doubt. If you drink alcohol, you massively and dramatically increase your chance of getting cancer. Uh, and three, alcohol has no benefit at all. Not one. I'm talking physical health benefits. Not a single physical health benefit at all. Not even one glass of wine a day. You would be better off drinking a glass of red grape juice. And if you're still arguing that one glass of red wine a day is good for you, you're still trapped in the loop. 
because there would be no reason for you to continue with that when you could have red grape juice and just take out the poison from the mixture. There's no way to defend it. So the answer to the question, is alcohol bad for blood pressure? Yes, it is. Absolutely terrible. But the good news is if you've been drinking for a, a considerable amount of time and you stop drinking, you will quite rapidly see the benefits to your heart health. Not all damage can be reversed, but just like me, you know, I, I spent 20 years heavy drinking in a constant state of being borderline hypertensive. And within one month of stopping drinking, a blood pressure that was absolutely normal, within normal range, no problem at all. So I hope that helps clear it up. Don't forget, we have new videos every day here at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and a live stream every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 2 p.m. in the UK, 4 p.m. where I am. Uh, make sure you join. Uh, I think it's a really positive experience. We all get together and basically support each other. It's kind of our weekly meeting where we just check in and uh, you get a chance to boast about how many days you are sober, get a big round of applause from everyone. And if you've got any questions or concerns in the AMA, ask me anything. That's the place to do it. You can throw anything you want at me and I'll do my best to give you a answer or at least make something up that sounds plausible. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Imagine waking up tomorrow. No hangover, no feelings of guilt or regret, just full of energy and vitality. That goal is not only possible, it's easily achievable. Find out how 200,000 people just like you have rediscovered their happy, sober lives using the Stop Drinking Expert program. Reserve your place on today's free Quit Drinking webinar and get a copy of my best-selling book, Alcohol Lied to Me, as a free gift just for turning up.